What is up guys, welcome back to Footy Plays, and in today's video we're going to be doing another player review. So basically you guys will know like how many different series I've been involved in recently, and so instead of just immediately posting another video around those series, I wanted to post a little bit of something in between um, to mix up the content a little bit so it didn't get too dry. So as I post those series, I'll try to put videos in between. But anyway, today we're going to be really... Uh, reviewing this Canada um, player Ricketts. He's 90 overall. You guys can see there he has 115 sprint speed and 115 acceleration as well as 96 strength. Those three stats are definitely his main stats. Really high strength for a player of such speed and his sprint speed acceleration is just out of the world. Um, his 95 shot power is also absolutely incredible and is probably one of his main stats as well. Um, the rest of his stats are a bit mediocre. 87 finishing, like you look at that and you're like, that's not horrible, but it's also not that high up there at this point in the game. Neither is his dribbling. Um, so you guys will see if that affects his roulette or not in game. His positioning isn't horrible, but once again, it's just kind of average, you know what I mean? He has a lot of stats that are just a bit average. His aggression, his composure, like they're in the 80s, so they're not absolutely horrible, but they're also just super, pretty darn average. His 98 reactions, you can't really judge that because of how many different attack mode players I have boosting that stat. Um, but uh, overall, um, other than those main stats, um, his stats are pretty average, but yeah, um, let's get to the first game, and let's see how he performs. Alright guys, so for the first game, we're going to be playing him in a two-striker formation. I'm going to show you guys the full gameplay. You guys can see there, his roulette. Um, it was alright, it was pretty average, um, but he does get, up, get caught up a lot like he did there. With Ronaldo being able to make that tackle as his dribbling and all that, it's pretty darn average. Hazard, his finesse is blocked, but um, Ricketts, his, like... And by the way, they're like being able to sneak that in at the near post. Pretty impressive. But this is a review about Ricketts, not about the rest of the players on this team. You guys can see there a decent cut by Ricketts. Look at that amazing sprint speed. He's going to shoot it across. And he does hit the post because I did put no finesse on it. But usually from that angle, I found myself when I do a finesse, like it just goes way wide of the post. And that's more embarrassing than hitting the post. But Hazard with a decent finesse there. Good ball control, good dribbling. But once again, this review isn't about Hazard. And that's kind of the problem that you'll find with this Ricketts card. Since his positioning and everything is just kind of just average. Mostly like mediocre at this point in the game. Um you'll find that he's not getting on the ball too much because his positioning is just horrible and he's not getting in positions. And I show you guys the full gameplay um, because I wanted you guys to see his flaws and his weaknesses. And um, positioning was kind of one of them. Uh, Rodriguez holds it up, gets it into Carroll. We try to go that cross keeper volley because once again, Ricketts was an in position hazard. The free kick goes over the bar. Um, and like, obviously I'm actually gonna try to win these games and actually that's kind of important for a player view that you're just kind of playing normally and feeding it to the player who's in position as we see we're passing the ball pretty well match it with a good with a really good finish um here we get it into Ricketts Ricketts you guys can see there the ball control dribbling isn't the greatest kind of letting it get ahead of him especially after that roulette but he's so fast to go back and pressure and try to get the ball back but um once again you can see his st his um overall like average stats especially in almost mediocre at this point in the game not really doing this business and match is just going to put an over the top it goes in i was trying to feed it to ricketts there but for some reason it goes into carroll and that's going to be the end of the first game but you guys can see there like his sprint speed acceleration is absolutely incredible his dribbling doesn't affect his roulette too much but you can notice his dribbling and ball control and how it's sort of just average throughout the game because of and like how it makes him lose the ball a bunch but yeah Let's get in the second game, and let's see how it improves. Let's see if he doesn't improve, improves that he's a bad card. Let's get in the second game. Alright guys, so here we are in the second game of three. We're going to kick the ball off to Ricketts once again. We're using a two-striker formation. Ricketts is going to rule that to the outside. You can see here, his dribbling is absolutely horrible, but once again, it's just sort of average. It's not completely, like, amazing on the ball. Carroll with a really good cut and a good finish, but, um... It should be Ricketts doing the business, not Andy Carroll. We put it over top into Ricketts. You guys can see there, sort of a sloppy p touch, but it works out for him as the defender doesn't do well with it. Horrible free kick by us with, like, no power whatsoever. Here we go. We take the corner. We go near post. Carroll trying to get on it. He can't quite. 
And by the way, I'm showing you guys the full gameplay, um, but uh, if you guys see any cuts in between here, it's because I was using a counter formation, but you guys can see here Ricketts running Riot, but um, Finish quite failed him. I didn't even put low power on it. I know it looks like that, but I really didn't. Um, Boateng with a really good tackle, um, robbing Juan Mata of the ball, so, so far his finishing, his ball control, his dribbling doesn't seem like the greatest. His roulette is okay, and his sprints for acceleration are amazing, but once again, they're just getting caught up, just not being able to make those quick moves, being able to react in time, um, and get away from defenders, so it's quite hard playing at, like, at this point in the game when everybody has good teams and good defenders. Juan Mata roulettes inside, takes a good shot across the keeper, hammering it into the back of the net. Um, that's what we want to see from Ricketts though, so that's kind of a problem. Here's Dinkowski roulettes and it's, he's tackled. By the way, that is a bronze card um, because uh, my fort, I was using a formation uh, because all of my the formations that Ricketts were in were countered, so I just had to use the 442, I think. But Juan Mata puts the ball through to Andy Carroll. Carroll turns good finish, but once again, Ricketts just nowhere to be found on that attack, not getting up the field, not positioning himself on the breakaway, and that's a really big problem because once again, his stats aren't bad in those areas, just they're mediocre compared to the all the defenders from the other teams and playing against other super high rated teams at this back end of the game um once again sprints for acceleration you see that he's it's pretty good um and his strength I, he doesn't really get a chance to prove his strength because of the fact that he's always getting caught up in losing the ball with his mediocre stats at this point in the game. But anyways, let's get in the third game and see if he changes our mind. Alright guys, so here we are in the third and final game of this Canada Day Ricketts player review. Ricketts sprinting down with that amazing sprint speed acceleration. Decent roulette. Gets another roulette inside, but once again, not the best control and not the best roulette either for this point in the game. Like, it's not a bad roulette, but it's not quite competent. You guys can see there the strength holding off that Davin Louise, who's like, I think like a 97 for our opponent, so you guys can see there, his strength is good, but he, once again, he was just getting, getting caught up, he doesn't have that um, amazing, those amazing stats like Griezmann, as Hazard uh, tucks that away very nicely, um, to be able to get around defenders and do damage, and there, weaving around a little bit, gets the finish off, but we're not really noticing his shot power that much, so... Maybe shot power isn't one of his main stats. I'd say his main stats right now that you can see are his sprint speed acceleration and his strength. Um, but otherwise, nothing's really, uh, and nothing else is really proving to be uh, competent at this point in the game, and that's a problem because you can't only have a few stats at this point in the game. <sighs> Carroll going around in the area. I thought he got a penalty, but he didn't. Um, and once again, we had to just run around there, um, not being able to find any options because Ricketts wasn't getting in a position. As that's a beautiful finesse shot at the edge of the area by Philip Lom. We get the pass into Ricketts, Ricketts roulettes, big cut. Look at that horrible touch. I didn't do that at all. Like, there's not nothing in the game to be able to do that. Decent shot power there, but at the same time, I put in the upper orange power. So, um, and his finish is just not that clean. Like, so it's just not uh, it, his finishing isn't that amazing he roulettes gets in a position finesse the outside that was a decent finish pretty good shot power there i guess but once again i put it in the upper orange so that kind of came down to my individual um how i was controlling him and how i was playing the game and not the actual card rick gets another long shot so um at the end of this game i started noticing maybe his strength would be long shots as he buries another he banged in like four long shots in quick succession with pretty decent shot power but also um i just did take the long shots pretty well did put them on like a pretty nice power but um yeah so if you want want this card make sure to shoot a lot of long shots with him but um overall he wasn't the greatest. Um, I was really excited when he came out because I used his MLS Cup card at the beginning of the game just for fun because he was so fast. Like, he was just lightning. Um, and this card actually didn't even feel much faster than that card. And he was, like, one of the fastest cards in the game at that time. He was the fastest card in the game at that time, second to this other sober card. And so when he got this card, I was like, okay, his sprint speed and acceleration are just going to be absolutely crazy. And, I mean, they were and they weren't. Um, 
but like I just I thought that would make the card worth it I thought he'd be like the next Mbappe but he's really not however he was hovering at like the 300k mark maybe he's below that but the candidate players aren't in packs anymore as I'm recording this post commentary because when I originally recorded this I was live commentating on it um and uh, I had forgot to enable voice recording on my software didn't notice the end and yeah so that kind of sucked but um regardless i do hope you guys enjoyed this video um his stats are just a little bit mediocre for this at this point in the game with all these really high tier of defenders so i wouldn't really recommend him i'd say i'd rate him a four out of ten for both coins and overall but yeah thank you guys for watching Bye bye